What's up, everybody? Back at it again. This is Justin Calamese, and this is the Bombay 51 Show. Boom! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Bombay 51 Show podcast where we talk about money. Not talking about just that cash moolah. We talking about credit. Not just regular personal credit, but we talking about business credit. So for the pilot of this podcast, we talked about the direction of the season, some of the things that we're going to talk about, tips and tricks, the ins and outs of business credit, how to start business credit, how to establish business credit, how to grow your business credit, and how to leverage your business credit against the banks so you can get unlimited funding for your business. And when I say unlimited, I mean unlimited. You know, we always got to start somewhere. So our starting point goal bracket is like 150K to 350K, kind of a time frame of six to eight months. And we're able to pull that off using the 2X credit system. For more about the 2X credit system, check the link in the descriptions. For today, we're going to talk about the top three mistakes people use in starting a business. Why 90% of businesses fail within the first five years. You know, 90% is a pretty high number, but that's not an exaggeration. Check this slide out. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, 90% is the accurate percentage of businesses that fail within the first five years. So if you're a startup and you haven't been in business in the past five years, your business may be destined to fail. I know that's kind of insane, but the real question is why? So we know businesses fail for any number of reasons. Let's talk about the top three. Reason for failure number one. People are using their own personal cash from their own personal bank accounts and investing and in savings and taking out personal loans from the banks and their family and friends just to get their business off the ground. Eventually, they exhaust all of their resources and can't get funding for their businesses when they actually need it. Reason for failure number two. Most business owners are using their own personal credit to fund their business in which they max out. And they have no backup plan after that because they've never taken the time to establish true business credit. And other business owners are under the impression that they have established true business credit but are unaware that their business credit is backed by personal guarantee which falls back on their personal credit. Reason for failure number three. This is the simplest and most devastating mistake. We seek out doctors, lawyers, and dentists to help us with health crises and life crises throughout life, but we fail to do the same thing in the world of business. So are we in agreement that 90% of businesses are failing due to lack of cash, credit, and coaching? Great. So with the cash aspect, you should never fund your own company or own business with your own cash. Well, why is that? Because if something goes wrong, the liability is all on you, and now you're out of all of your cash. So how do you use other people's cash? Credit. But one of the other biggest mistakes people are using is not separating their personal credit from business credit. Well, I have a credit card with my business name on it. It doesn't mean you have a true business credit. You call the bank and ask them, is your business credit card backed by a personal guarantee? Or if you could recall when you set up your business account and they were establishing the business credit card, did they ask you for your social security number? Aha. Uh -huh. If they did, then your credit card is backed by a personal guarantee. So your business credit is tied to your personal credit, which is limiting you in how much you can get. And also, if something goes wrong, the liability falls back on your business and personal credit. Well, how do you separate them? That's where the Duns and Bradstreet number comes in. That's another video for another day. And the third and probably most important reason why businesses fail is lack of coaching. Now, now this one is baffling to me. This is the one that doesn't make sense. When you first learn how to walk, somebody showed you how. First learn how to ride a bike, somebody showed you how. First learn how to drive a car, somebody showed you how. First learn how to play basketball, learn how to play football. Learn how to read, how to write your name, how to drive a car. First started dating. When you first learn how to fish, somebody shows you how. You could do this all day, man. Doesn't make sense. All accomplishments in life, we've had coaches. We used to call them teachers, and in sports, we call them coaches. Why in the world are we trying to start businesses off of what we heard or what we think we know, what we think they've taught us? Why don't we have somebody coaching us and you know walking with us hand in hand, showing us what we should and shouldn't do? Preferably somebody who's been extremely successful in it. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a guy who went blind in med school and then started three different businesses all while launching my own corporation. With all the knowledge that I gained from the 2X credit system, but that's neither here nor there. So real quick, before I get out of here, I want to kind of discuss who would benefit the most from learning about business credit. It's not just for those in this field. This is just, you know, the first thing that come to my mind that makes the most sense. Truck drivers! Truck drivers. Truck drivers. Truck drivers those in the trucking industry this is right up your alley why because all truckers that i know they want their own truck 
pay fifty, sixty thousand dollars and buy your own used truck, then you're driving for yourself. All truckers I know, they get their license and then they're trying to save their money so they can buy their own truck. Then they take that truck and save money so they can buy another truck and hire another driver out so that they have two sources of income coming. And then once they save up some more, they buy a third truck and then they hire out three drivers. And now they don't have to drive anymore and they have their own mini trucking system going. What you don't know is that's a six, seven year process. What if you were educated in business credit and could jumpstart all of this in less than a year? Well, what do you mean? I mean, if someone educates you on business credit, you're able to establish the correct business, whether it be LLC, which is an extension of you, or an S-Corp, it is a standalone entity and you are its employee, paying yourself from your own entity, avoiding the 15.3% self-pay tax. And after establishing the right type of company, we'll teach you how to link the deck 30, 60, and 90 accounts so you have open lines of credit that are in good standing. And then teach you what to do step by step so in six to eight months, you can petition the bank for 150K. That's three used trucks up front. Or if you go all in and put your nose to the grinder, you can ask for numbers like 300K on your first time. And that's three brand new trucks with no maintenance up front. Now, this model works for anybody starting a business or even individuals who already have a business and you want to scale a business. You align your business credit the right way, approach the banks the right way, and then get access to the money that you want and invest it back into your company that causes your company to make even more money, which causes your business credit to rise even more. And you can go back to the bank and ask for even more money to invest in your company. And the cycle just keeps going on and on and on. See what I mean? But, but hey, that's enough for today. So if anybody has any questions about business credit, make sure you put them in the comments. Hit me up on LinkedIn, Justin Calamese. Hit me up on Facebook, Justin Calamese. On my business Facebook page, Calamese Incorporated. Follow us on Instagram, Bombay51. Follow us on Twitter, Bombay51. And be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. All right, y'all, we out this thing.